And the perfect mom will be the one left standing. All of you stand up. Come on, here we go. Moms and uh, wives. All of you stand up. We're going to find out who's the perfect mom. Okay, the last one standing is the perfect mom. If you have a bed that is not made at home, sit down. So a picture of a godly woman. They have strong character. They have great wisdom. They have personal strength. They have many skills. And they have great compassion. So let's look at this. We're going to first look at number one. This scripture, Proverbs 31, is divided up into six sections. You may have never noticed that before. So the very first one, this one describes her marriage. Verse 10 and 12. Let's look at that. She 
gets up while it is still dark and she provides food for her family and portions for her female servants. It says, she gets up and she goes and buys wool and flax and she seeks it. What does that mean, ladies? You're shoppers. <laughs> you love to shop. You do go out and, and get the things that your family needs. Men are hunters. Women are shoppers. And they look at things and they touch them and they inspect them all. Ruth and I will go to the grocery store together and she said, go over there and get us some strawberries. So I go over, well, those are strawberries. I pick them up and take them over. And I said, just, just a minute. Don't put that in that car. She takes it and she looks at it. Up and down, all around, and she inspects it all. With x-ray vision like Superman. She says, take it back, it's got a white tip. <laughs> they love to make sure that everything is good for us. And it says in verse 14, merchant ship. They shop like a merchant ship. What does that mean? Does that mean that she'll go to great lengths out of her? You know, ladies, they will drive 20, 30 miles to save 20 cents on some, some sort of uh, a bargain. A fellow talking about his wife the other day. He says, I came home and she had just gotten home from work. And I said, honey, what's, what's for supper? And she says, well, I got in the car to come home and I realized I didn't have a thing to cook for supper. <laughs> so she says, I went over to Price Shoppers and I went all the way over there and I got out and went to the hamburgers that we were going to have hamburgers and it was $7 a pound. I said, I'm not paying that. So she gets in the car and she goes over to, to Wally's Best Value or whatever and she drives all the way over and she said that there was a traffic jam. I couldn't even get on the, on the exit. She said, I couldn't even go there. So I went all the way around over to the other uh, price shopper grocery store and she said that I got supper there. And the husband said, well, okay. So we're having chicken? No, she says, we're having pork chops. That was on sale. Very good with her money. And the Bible says there in verse 15 that she works hard. She works, many of you ladies work while it's, while it's still dark. You go to work when it's dark, you come home when it's dark. You keep up before sunrise and sunset schedule. Take care of you. See. Her activities multiplies her fruitfulness. Now listen to this. Look, let's read 20 through 24. And then we'll go back. She opens her arms to the poor and extends her hands to the needy. When it snows, she has no fear of her household, for all of them are clothed with scarlet. She makes coverings for her bed. She is clothed with the fine linen of purple. Her husband is respected in, in the city gate, so he takes his seat among the elders of the land. He makes them garments and sells them, and supplies the merchants with sashes. All of these activities, ladies, are driven by the priority of this one thing, taking care of your own family. All of these activities start there. And then like the picture, that's not a very good picture, of the mom with the big heart, it just overflows to all the other things, like providing for the poor, providing for her family, providing for herself. Ladies, it's okay. Husbands like for you to look nice, to provide things for yourself. And then they even have the ability to sell things. But I want you to look at verse 23 in particular. Verse 23. Her husband is respected at the city gate where he takes his seat among the elders of the land. A man's good reputation begins at home. Look at his godly wife. We've often said, kind of in a funny way, but it's true. But behind every good man is a better woman. A good wife. 
Now, the next one, D, this one emphasizes her character. Let's look at verse 25 and 27. She is clothed with strength and dignity, and she laughs at the days to come. She speaks with wisdom and faith and will instruction on her tongue. She watches over the affairs of her household. Do not, she does not eat the bread of idleness. She is clothed with dignity. That is talking about her inner strength. Folks, this woman knows Jesus Christ. She knows the word of God. This is her inner clothing that is displayed. Divine wisdom, it says, which of course is from God. You can only get divine wisdom from one place, and that's from God. It gives her confidence to face the future and the unexpected challenges. Ladies, do you ever have unexpected challenges? Like an unexpected trip to the ER for stitches. Or the kids fighting. Or a toilet that overflows. Or a cat that pukes all over the carpet. Unexpected problem. And some, of course, even more serious. Because of your diligence to read and to know and to have a close relationship with God, you, it's like armor that you put on. And that you can handle all the things, whether it snows or whether it doesn't. You are prepared. Verse 26, she speaks with wisdom. Faithful instruction is on her tongue. This is one of your questions. Teaching with the wisdom of God Her children arise and call her blessed. Her husband also is betrayed with her. Many women do normal things, but you surpass them all. This describes again her children that come when they're usually older and say how blessed they were with it. They had a mom that taught them about Jesus Christ. A mom and dad both. Thank you both. With their mom made sure they were in church. No higher joy for a mother for her children to grow up and praise her for the source of the wisdom that they have made them God. Her husband praises her also. Look at verse 29. It says, many women do noble things. There's ladies out there we know that do all kinds of good things. Maybe they're in government. Maybe they're very wealthy and they are movie stars. Maybe they have their own TV show and they give away free cars. <laughs> but you are greater than all of them. Why? Because you live according to God's ideas and not the world. All of that other stuff doesn't matter. This summarizes her spiritual life, verse 31 and 30, 30 and 31. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting, but a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Honor her for all that her hands have done, and let her work for you brought praise to the city gate. True holiness and virtue commands permanent respect. Far more than charm and beauty or face or form. Verse 31 says, while she receives natural rewards here on earth, she will receive eternal rewards in heaven. <coughs> the praise and success that 
She labored to bring to her family, community, and to her God. God will honor her as a sister. The last question I think. The result of all her efforts is her best eulogy. What a beautiful thing. Good Christian woman. I'd like to close with a, a truth. Many of you know what a geode is. It's a rock that is hollow on the inside. It has beautiful crystals inside. I know some of you didn't look at when, when looking for crystals. Right, Barney? When looking for these geodes. And I think we had one at one time. But they're formed as water and high mineral, mineral water keeps flowing through this rock. And as it keeps flowing through, some minerals are left there. And they collapse, and they collapse, and they collapse. They get stuck there. But the water continues to flow through, and the minerals gather and gather and gather. It produces a beautiful crystal that you can buy in a, a jewelry store. The more the water flows, the more beautiful the crystal becomes. Now, the external covering of that crystal, that rock, may get kind of dull. It may get weathered over time and warm. But inside, the crystal is getting prettier and prettier. That, it is, that is why it is for the woman that loves Jesus Christ and who has God continuing to flow on her inside through prayer and dedication and love. She may be getting older and there may be a wrinkle or two showing up but because of the flow of God through this godly woman, the crystal or the love of her inside grows deeper and bigger and bigger. You're, you're getting prettier on the inside because of your spiritual growth in God that continues to grow. Your love for God, your desire to seek Him. God sees you as a beautiful crystal lady. And so do you. Happy Mother's Day. And let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you, O oh Lord, for the love that you have given to the women that, that have just overflowed from your love their desire to care and to do and to live and to get closer to you. Lord, we know that they get prettier and prettier as a child of God. Good old Elizabeth Smith. We thank you, O oh Lord, for all of these women here and all the women, the Christian women all over the world. We thank you and we praise you. And it's in Jesus' precious name we pray. Amen. 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 Our closing hymn this morning is...